Hey everyone, welcome to another installment from Ampro Engineering. In this episode, we're going to talk about another RC car lighting kit. So I've never actually done any of these by Killer Body before, so I'm kind of excited to see what this one's all about. Here you can see the part number. What I like about this is that they're, I think they're all three millimeter LEDs, which is awesome. Anybody who has followed this series knows how particular I am about lighting my cars. So we're hoping this works. All right, well, the box is kind of nice. So we've got a instruction manual here, and oftentimes these can be comical. So let's see if we have any comedy here. I went ahead and had a read on this, and one thing that it does mention over here is that these are not compatible with all radios. I think what they're talking about is a lot of modern cars I've seen come out, they actually combine the ESC and the receiver. This means channel two right here, it doesn't exist. So if you actually want to have working brake lights and reverse lights, that's not going to be possible with one of these. Steering should be fine as the servo is, you know, usually uh, not going to have that issue. What's interesting about this is we see that we have two pairs of front lights, which is great. We have bumper accent lights in white also. And then we have, I don't know, white windscreen side accent. Don't know. This is for a specific body here, this 110 Marauder. And if you open it up, it appears to be like one of those, a Defender style pickup truck. So that's okay. We're going to make this work. Uh, there are three oranges. I'm also confused about that. There are uh, three more here uh, reverse lights and taillights. Okay. If you want to see any of these go right ahead there are two modes a and b so we're probably going to go for the normal cars and b there is a flashing version the last four over here at least the last three uh seven through nine we'll probably know a little bit better in a moment this is kind of cool so it looks like we can turn it on or off when we pull all the way to the left for 10 seconds and then shut the whole thing off by turning all the way to the right for 10 seconds that is an awesome feature i really like that huh cool so it looks like our yellow has two close to each other and one far away. Our reds are, this is actually, this will save time and space here. So both red lights are off of one signal, which is kind of cool. Uh-oh, did this come off? Uh-oh, this there's one white by itself with these missing. I didn't notice. Oh dear, this may actually have just come off. I just looked in the package and found the other half. Now these are both ready to be soldered. So the reason that wire comes in two pieces is because it has to be fished from the outside of the body to the inside of the body. And this way the hole required is a lot smaller. That's why it's cut. There are these two here that are close together, white forward. This one here close together, white forward. And this one here kind of spread apart. I think this is probably be for the reverse lights. Let's start plugging stuff in. Now these plugs are a lot smaller than the ones I'm used to, which is fine. I just don't happen to have any of these style connectors on hand. So we'll put that forward. This one also do forward. I believe that all four that say front will simply be on. I, I hope that's the case anyway. And so these four are all plugged in signal left and right rear right a really small little Ooh, that doesn't feel very good this feels like it's barely held in there okay so our other right red goes down here and then our reverse light okay here now let's plug all these in um is anybody confused other than me here it says forward backward well, I can see that down here it says turn left right 12 pins and I don't know what the polarity is let's just plug this in first 
So I guess we'll just do, God, I don't know what to do. Let's do this right now. I'm just terrified I'm gonna turn this on and blow everything up. Okay, car's on, turn the power on. And I'll cut the, the brightness here so we can see the LEDs a little bit easier. And the power switch. Okay, and okay, nothing's happening. Oh, what, what's, oh, oh, because it's not getting any input. Yeah, I think, I think I messed something up with the steering. Let's turn this around. Okay, okay, now the steering's working. But the steering is affecting the brakes. So let's take this, plug that in, accelerate, that, that, no, oh no, oh god. Already we're at junk level with this. Let's take the steering servo. There it goes, okay. Um, but what the heck is this? Nothing. So I don't know why it works on both sides. So the top is forward Back, is it too, hmm, hmm. Let's move this here. See what happens if I put this right there. Accelerate, brake, here's reverse here. Yep, okay. Oh my God. I mean, am I the only person that is, why? Why is it, why? Okay, here's the deal. Here are the back lights on the car. This is our brake and tail light. So we hit the brakes. There you go. And we reverse. So technically these shouldn't be bright anymore. But you know, I mean, when I back up, sometimes I've got my foot on the brake a little bit so that the car doesn't go too fast, depending on the particular area I'm parked at. The thing is, these are the reverse lights. Clearly white, number six. And it's on. So then we reverse. Actually, it's not even true. Okay, it's accelerating, brake, reverse. What am I going to do with that? Well, I guess if the car doesn't have a reverse light, we're good to go. But then at the front, in case we have, in this particular, well, we've got a lot of forward-facing lights, which is theoretically awesome. Unfortunately, they all come on when you accelerate. I just, I don't get why they are obsessed with this. Left and right. Those are flashing. Can you use the other set? Let's change it to version B. I'm fairly certain that this is just going to, yeah, I think it's just going to do that. It said over here, light mode is keep flashing mode, which... I did notice here, two, two sets of servo and ESC receiver on right side of box. Anyway, that's how I've got it set up. Anyway, I'm already not happy about this. Let's test the system power off. So let's turn right for 10 seconds. I'm going to fast forward, by the way. Nothing happened, but it could be because the steering was reversed. So let's go turn left. Okay, that's cool. So to turn it back on, we'll turn, in this case here, right, which if it's set up properly, you'd, you'd reverse this. So you turn left. That's absolutely fantastic. It is just very sad that it's meaningless to me. Um, perhaps some of you out there find that this application is acceptable. It isn't for me, and I believe this was rather expensive. I want to say it was on the $25 to $30 side versus some of the other ones that I buy. They're like $12. <sighs> well, there that goes. You know what I'm curious about is some of these have internal dip switches that you can flip. And those will help you to reverse your steering or throttle in the event that it's defaulting to the wrong direction. So if you've got uh, your motor, if you accelerate and the brakes come on, you can flip it internally. Let's see. What is on this PCB? How old is it? Look on the other side. Dang it.
No, oh, you're like, I mean, and that's, it's got nothing. Well, folks, I apologize. Um, I was actually very excited about this video because I thought that this was the light kit I needed and it, it isn't. Um, it's actually one of the worst I've reviewed because it, it doesn't even have working reverse lights. At least some of the other ones, yeah, fine, the headlights light up when you accelerate, but I at least have reverse. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. Sorry, folks, to, to end on a sad note, but I, this is I'm, this is absolutely of no use to me um, for any application, unless, uh, what? Uh, how can I use this? Um, I'd have to get rid of the reverse light, so I need a car that doesn't have reverse. I'd have to wire in my own headlights because I want them bright all the time, uh, but the car would have to have turn signals. So if your car has no headlights, no reverse light, uh, turn signals and a brake light, it's perfect for you. For all other applications, no. Well, folks, on that terrible disappointment, we'll see you next time.